everybody. This is a real quick video because I want to explain something to you about white anodizing. And the real news is there's no way to anodize white. When you're anodizing aluminum, you're building up a structure that has a pocket in it. And this is built up of aluminum oxide. It's a very, very tough material. Same thing that emeralds or rubies are made out of. And there's just a little bit of tint in there that makes it a ruby or makes it an uh, emerald. But those are aluminum oxide. And that's what's on the outside of the paintball guns. That's what makes them tough. That's why things like Cerakote or paint or uh, powder coating doesn't really work well with paintball guns. It tends to rub off, but the anodizing lasts for a long time because you really have the outside covered with the same stuff as a ruby. The nice part is because it creates these pockets, you can put dye in there. So we can come up with all the colors, and that's basically what they do. They anodize the gun, they dip it in a dye, and some people are really good at dipping it in a dye, and you end up with something that's both beautiful, colored, and functionally very strong as a surface coating. The problem is, though, the pores for those are only so big. And dyes come in different sizes. Some dyes are small, some are a little bit larger, but white Titanium dioxide is one of the largest dyes that they have. The problem is titanium dioxide can't get into the pores. It's too large. So how do we end up with this? Well, this isn't white. This surface has been sandblasted. And then what we did is we put it in an etch. Now, normally when you're doing the anodized process, well, the first thing you do is etch. And that gets off the old anodizing, clears off all the other components on there that might cause... Uh, uh, get in the way, oil, oils and stuff like that. And then you, you might bright dip it in some cases and then you put it through the anodized bath. The etch process in this case is where we left it. The sand blasted and etched surface is diffused. So it causes the color to be different. And what happens is if you just leave it clear after it's been etched and sandblasted, you end up with this surface that reflects all the light. Light's white, so it reflects white light and it looks like it's white. Really, it's silver, but it's so diffuse that it looks like it's white. Now, the problem with this is, and it's a very, again, it's a hard anodized surface, and I'll show you what we did. We, uh, in, I'll pop up the picture right now, we dipped this in our collection bucket for our paint. And this is to show you, this has left, been left 24 hours, and then we just went and washed it off with a little bit of soap and water. And everything comes off just like any anodized surface. The problem is, because this is, you see this because it's diffused light, it's spread light, not silver. If you get oils on it from your hands, it tends to show up quickly. And this is something that makes the, makes the anodizing a little hard to, hard to uh, pick up. So people think it's dirty, but a little bit of soap and water, and this cleans right up. So as you see just in the video, I mean, that thing was covered, or in the picture, that was covered in paint. And all it took was a little bit of wash, and it, it cleans right up. So a little bit of soap and water, stormtroopers will clean right up. But because it's an etched or diffused surface, it will notice if you got oils on there, because it changes the refraction rate of the light coming in and coming out. So it'll look a little bit more silver in areas you've, you've gotten oil on. So there you go. It's not really a white anodized. It's silver. And it looks amazing. It looks so good. I'm really amazed at how well they have turned out and how good they look. But you have to understand, if you are buying the, the white anodizing or a stormtrooper, that the surface will just need a little bit of soap and water a little more often. Just like when you buy a truck. You know when you buy a black truck or a black car and you drive it for a day and you're like, wow, look at all the dirt on it. You know, Look at the pollen, look at everything else. It shows up so well. It's basically the same thing with this because of the way it diffuses light. So there you go. There's a primer on white anodizing stormtroopers and kind of how you get the look when you're dealing with uh, aluminum. Have a good day, guys. And as always, harass us at www.j4pb.com or follow us on Facebook, J4 Paintball, where you probably saw the video anyways. Catch you guys later.